Hey everyone, Saints fan back again with another Smugglers Run DLC video, and today we're going to be talking about which bomb is best, because if you go into your hangar, and if you go on certain planes, and you go to the weapon section, some of them have the bomb category, and in this bomb category, you have four options. You have explosive, you have incendiary, you have gas, and you have cluster bomb. Now in the order that they are, the cluster bomb is actually the most expensive. So you may be thinking the cluster bomb is the best, but is it actually? That's what we're here to test and find out. So to keep everything sort of the same through these testings, we have the Tula here and I just changed the bomb during each run. And I also have the same pilot who is delivering the bombs to the people that are standing here on the beach. And we put some cars in there just so you can see maybe how they react and how some of them blow up and some of them don't blow up depending on which bomb you choose. But the first one we're going to start with is the explosive because that is the cheapest one. Now, if you're like me, when you first saw the explosive, you're like, okay, it's the cheapest, so it's probably not that good. But let's go ahead and take a look at the footage to see what actually happens. Wow. So yeah, as you can see, that absolutely destroyed everyone. It destroyed the people and the cars that was pretty deadly so if that is the worst one theoretically then how good are these other ones let's find out moving along down the list the next one is the incendiary bombs now these you may be thinking uh you know it's like napalm you drop it and it like just spreads fire everywhere let's take a look at what actually happens So yeah, um, I mean, it's decent. Some of the vehicles do explode if they were hit directly, and then the fire does go on the ground, although it's not as good as I hoped it would be. I thought it would be more along the lines of, you know, a napalm strike from Call of Duty. I know that may be a little bit too overpowered. However, you know, the, what we have at the moment, this isn't that great because the fire, it actually goes away fairly quickly. Maybe if you did this like on a mountainside where there's grass and I know the grass sort of catches on fire, that might be pretty cool. But really the incendiary, I don't think is that worth it for, you know, for your money, just because there aren't too many situations where you really need it. Like if it was more powerful, maybe not the explosive, but if the fire was more powerful, if it spread further, or if there was a bigger fire radius, it would be good, but just what we have now is, is kind of disappointing. Although, compared to the next one, the gas, I still think it's a little bit better. So, the gas, this is the third one on the list. Let's go ahead and find out what happens here. Keep it up. So, with this one, I mean, I guess to be expected, nothing really happens apart from just the gas dropping. There was a little explosive, so I guess maybe like the incendiary ones, if you direct hit a car, it might explode. But for the most part, it's just the gas. And unless you run directly into it, like I do in the gameplay, you know, it's not going to really affect you. And it does kill you, you know, pretty quickly if you're in it. But I just, again, like the incendiary ones, the radius isn't that big. It's basically just dropping little tear gas bombs everywhere. And... Name the last time you died to a tear bomb, you know, without you being AFK or something. I mean, I guess the one benefit of this one is if you don't want to blow up people's cars because maybe you don't want to pay the insurance, that might be something. That might be a reason you use the gas. But really, unless the person's AFK, you're not going to be killing anyone with gas if they're in a car. So I would say the gas, just stay away from it. It's not very good. And that moves us to the final one, the one that everyone, at least that I've talked to, said was the best the cluster bomb this is the most money and according to the description it says it drops explosives and then it has like little mini explosives to do more damage so let's go ahead and find out if that actually is the case yeah so that was a joke right it, it's got to be a joke right my friend the guy piloting hit them basically directly with the cluster bomb and nothing happened. Maybe one car exploded behind the 18 wheeler. I don't know, but no one died. The explosion honestly wasn't even that big. 
and nothing really happened. I mean, you can see we were sort of shocked by this. So I was like, look, let's just hover and see what these things can do. And he even went to go hover it. And even then, the explosion radius was so small that it didn't do anything. None of these people died to the cluster bombs. So the cluster bomb, unfortunately, is just not good. So that hopefully answers the question, which bomb should you use? Stick to the explosive one, stick to the one that's the least expensive because it is the best and it will do the most damage. The cluster bomb, I really don't know what purpose it could be used for. I mean, if you guys in the comment section know, if, if did I test something wrong? I, I, again, this was very shocking because you would think the cluster bomb would do the best, but it actually didn't. So thank you all for watching. Please drop the video like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more awesome GTA content. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.